Hey, so uh, I'm Adam Whitlock with Whitlock Life and I'm doing things a little bit differently this week for the video. I'm gonna go unedited and uh, also maybe a little bit shorter video as well, but just wanted to, to talk to you about uh, kind of God's goodness. And I had a video a few weeks ago that talked a little bit about this, but I wanna take this in, in a lot of a different way. You know, oftentimes, you know, when things are going really well, we can say, you know, God is great, God is good, uh, thank you, thank you, Jesus, for the blessings that you have in our life or that you give us in our life. Uh, but then when, when things aren't going our way, uh, sometimes we tend to thank God, where are you in the midst of this situation? But oftentimes, God is right there with us, and, and we've got we've to go through that storm and, and make it to the other side. And so you look at, you know, take Joseph, for example. You know, he's, uh, he's sold into slavery by his own brothers, and, and God, where are you in that situation, right? But God's right there. He's got a greater plan for Joseph and his family and his brothers and the whole uh, country of Egypt just through that one act. And, and that's how God uh, initiates that plan. So God is right there with us. And so oftentimes in our life, we might see a situation or, or something as a negative thing. It's something that, you know, God, where are you? But really, God's right there in the midst of it, and it's part of his plan. You know, uh, one, one story, just real quick. So just a couple of months ago, uh, my truck was totaled. Uh, I was fine, and, and everything, everything worked out all right. But um, I was just going through a green light, and this lady coming the other direction totally didn't yield, hit the truck, pushed the, the front uh, of the tire um, all the way underneath the truck. The front axle is gone, truck's totaled. Uh, it was an 87 Toyota pickup, belonged to my pappy, and uh, it was just, it was an awesome truck, a four-wheel drive. You could go anywhere in it. In fact, uh, I got my four-wheeler stuck in the bottom of a lake and actually had to drive down into, uh, it was a dried up lake, of course, and so I, I had to drive the, the red Yoda uh, down into the bottom of that uh, dried up lake bed and pull the four-wheeler out. I mean, I, I love the truck. You can go anywhere in it, but it's totaled, it's gone, and you know where you know what's going on here well as it as it so happens i really needed a different kind of vehicle just didn't really plan on it going down quite like this right uh, and so i had already been told by my insurance company you know years ago when i first signed up with them that my truck wasn't worth much from an insurance perspective and really not much more than a thousand dollars so when this thing gets totaled, I'm thinking I'm not gonna get anything for it and I'm not gonna have a vehicle. Well, ends up that through just, you know, I guess I guess God was in it, right? Um, I get, you know, you know, like three or four times what I thought I was going to get uh, for, for the truck. And I was able to purchase uh, another vehicle that would fit my, my kids in the back of the, I got, a, I got an extended cab now, and so now I'm able to haul some kids around with me, and I still have the truck, and because I now I can haul whatever I want to in there, and it's really just a, a, a really God story throughout the entire process of uh, me having that wreck, uh, not having a vehicle for over a month, uh, except for a very generous person was able to lend me a vehicle, uh, and, and then getting this settlement. It was, it was just um, a God story, but in the midst of that moment, and I'm standing on the side of the road and looking at this truck, knowing that I'll never probably see it again, and, and all the history it had with the family, and all of this, um, and I'm, you know, what, what's going on here? But really, God had a greater plan. And, and so what I want to ask you is what's going on in your life? Or maybe you've got another story that's uh, in your past where you think, God, where are you in this situation? But then you, at the end of the story, and when you're on the other side, you look back and you're like, oh, God, that's, that's what you're doing. Of course, of course, it, now it all makes sense. Uh, you really were there. You've blessed me through this. And, and God, I, I love you and I thank you for what you've done. Uh, oftentimes, we, won't, we don't wish ourselves to go through a negative situation, a, a hard situation, but that's part of life. Uh, whether we're Christians or not, things are going to uh, happen to bad people and, and, or, and, and also to good people. It's just a part of life. And so we have to, as, as believers, turn our eyes toward Jesus. We have to uh, look at him and, and don't take our eyes off him and just thank him for the breath that we have in our lungs and, and just continue to bless him and, and thank him for what we have in our lives.
And no matter whether things are going good or things are going bad, he is still God. He's still creator. He still loves us. He's still holy. He is still the one on high. And regardless of how things may uh, seem like they're going here on earth, he has a plan. We're a part of that plan. And we can continue to bless him and, and just continue to serve him with our lives. So please write, write in the comments below where you can share a story on Instagram or a picture on Instagram. I'd love to see how God has worked in your life so that we can all remember that God is good no matter whether the situation seems good or bad. God always is good. So please leave a comment and let me know how God has blessed you. Uh, if you would, please hit the like button and subscribe. Every click helps to count and, and make this channel uh, what it needs to be. So thank you very much and hope you have a great week.